In this video, we will discuss how to change the beta of a portfolio using index futures. We will start with the example of an individual investor with a $2 million portfolio who is concerned about the valuation of the United States stock market. If you look at the Schiller price to earnings ratio, it is now around 40, which has only been higher once during the dot-com bubble. The valuation on the U.S. stock market is now higher than it was in 1929 before the big crash that started the Great Depression. Also, if you look at the Wilshire Growth versus Value Index, it has also only been higher once, and that was during the dot-com bubble. The top 10 holdings of the S&P 500 are listed here, and all of them but two, Berkshire Hathaway and J.P. Morgan, are tech stocks, again indicating that we might be in something resembling the dot-com bubble. If we look at the required rate of return of a portfolio based on the capital asset pricing model, then we have the standard cap M of the required rate of return of the portfolio or an individual stock is the risk-free rate plus the difference between the market rate of return and the risk-free rate times beta. We can remove this beta risk by using index options. If we look at this in dollar terms, we can look at the dollar value of our portfolio times the required rate of return, and that's going to equal the dollar value of our portfolio times the risk-free rate plus the capital asset pricing model minus the risk-free rate times beta. So we will now look at how to remove this beta risk. How can an investor with a $2 million portfolio with a beta of 1.5 use index futures to reduce the beta of the portfolio to zero. So they want to change the beta by 1.5. They have a $2 million portfolio, and the appropriate index future for a portfolio of this size would be the S&P 500 Micro E-Mini Index Future, which currently has a quote for September of 2022 delivery of 4625 So the dollar cost of that is going to be the 4625 times $5 for the E-mini. So we will take the $2 million divided by this and multiply by 1.5 for the beta deduction, and therefore we are going to take a short position in around 130 of these E-mini S&P 500 index futures. Well, what if our investor wasn't this worried and instead only wanted to reduce the beta from 1.5 to 1, then we would merely change our delta beta here from 1.5 to 0.5. And other than that, we would do the same calculation. So we would have 0.5 times 2 million divided by $5 times the price of the E-mini, which is 46.25. And we would end up with, in this case, taking a short position in around 40 three of these S&P 500 E-mini index futures. We could look at the opposite situation of a very bullish investor, a Kathy Wood archetype investor that believes technology will make everything grow forever. And let's say they wanted to increase the beta of their portfolio from 1.5 to 2. Now the delta beta again is 0.5 and we end up with 0.5 times 2 million divided by $5 times 4625 are again 43 contracts, but now we would want to take a long position to increase the beta of a portfolio instead of a short position to decrease the beta of the portfolio. The data for this presentation came from multiple sources. These two graphs came from the excellent site of longtermtrends.net. The quotes on the E-mini S&P 500 index futures came from CME Group, and the data on the top 10 holdings of the S&P 500 came from the Yahoo Finance site. I thank you for watching this video.